issue. Welcome back. New research finds that an innovative program started by doctors at Penn Medicine is working to keep high-risk patients out of the hospital. It is a story we first told you about last April. When community health worker Sharon McCollum sets off to meet a patient, she doesn't need directions. McCollum lives in the community and says she understands the residents in a way no outsider could. The feeling is like this person is my mother, this person is my sister, my father. I treat them like the person that I care for. McCollum's been trained by Penn Medicine to keep people in the West Philly area out of the hospital. The program is the brainchild of Dr. Shreya Kingovi. I knew that we needed to figure out a way to get beyond the hospital and clinic walls. I've been trying to walk. I see. All of this you look good. I'm so proud of you. This video of a home visit was made by Penn Medicine. She doesn't provide health care. Instead, McCollum educates and supports low-income patients after they are discharged. Everything from dropping off subway tokens needed to get to a doctor's appointment to resolving food and housing issues. McCollum even helped one woman stop smoking. So I offered her to come to a smoking cessation with me because I also was struggling with quitting too. She doesn't judge people by how or where they live, says McCollum, key to the program's success. We're not judging you on anything. We're just here to help you, support you, and give you the resources and take you to the resources as needed. And with me now is Dr. Shreya Kangovi, who led the study and is the director of the Penn Center for Community Health Workers. Dr. Kangovi, thank you so much for being here. First of all, let's discuss what high risk is exactly and who qualifies for that. Sure. So, you know, the new health care law actually holds health systems accountable for improving outcomes of patients, which is actually very exciting. We're getting results. Um, there are certain pockets of patient populations who are at risk for poor outcomes across the board, and these really tend to be low-income neighborhoods, and they are at risk for having to come into the hospital frequently, but also for chronic disease, for a poor experience, and so that's how we uh, really define high risk. It was primarily low-income geographic communities. What did the study find? So it was very exciting. It found that um, this brief dose of this community health worker intervention improved a whole range of outcomes, from improving primary care access for these patients to reducing recurrent hospital readmission. It improved how doctors and nurses communicated with the patients. It improved patients' actual mental health and how engaged and confident they felt in their ability to manage their own health. So you don't often see uh, such a range of outcomes and we were pleased with that. Is the program reducing costs? The study hasn't looked at costs, and that's certainly something we want to do in the future to be decisive. Um, what we do know is that it reduced patients' reliance on having to keep coming back to the hospital. That is expensive. And we also know that the salary of an average community health worker is about a fifth that of a nurse practitioner. So there's potential. Potential. A lot to look forward to. Dr. Yes. Kangubi, thank you so much thank for being you. here. We appreciate your time. Thank you. The face of late night is changing. When I come back, I'll take you inside the NBC10 studio as I talk to Jimmy Fallon. <laughs>